Hex is the taller of the two, more experienced. He has the higher knockout ratio as well, 15 KOs from his 30 wins. Both of these guys very technical. I think Carlos Hicks, though, has the edge. He just does everything a little bit better than David Watt, but we will see. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is semi-final fight number one, scheduled for three three-minute rounds of kickboxing action in Jason Sonny's eight-man King of the Ring 75 kg series. It's brought to you by the establishment where the after party is here tonight. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black trunks with yellow and red trim. He now has 20 wins, 10 losses, two draws with four knockouts. Representing Team Hammerhead in Dunedin, he's the current ISKA South Island K1 Rules Champion and WAKO World Champion Quarter Finalist. Introducing David Wolverine Watts! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, enters the ring wearing black trunks with red and white trim. He now has 30 wins, five losses, one draw, with 15 wins coming by way of knockout. Representing the House of Pain in Hamilton, he's a world IKBF middleweight and NZWKBF middleweight champion. Introducing Carlos, the flying Fijian Hicks. <laughs> Fighters in the center ring, please, for Clyde Cowley's instructions. Gentlemen, listen to me and obey my commands at all times. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, step back and have a good fight. Well, Monty, interesting fight here. Two very good kickers, but I just feel Carlos Hicks has the speed advantage and the timing advantage in terms of his weaponry. Oh, geez, he was on tongue on his first bout. No doubt about it, he was seeing it. He was seeing it well. Geez, he was delivering also. He starts off fast, going low to both legs. Very accurate with the shot so far. Those legs very educated. More conventional in this uh, in this early in this bout. It's uh, Watts is traditionally a slow starter and uh, Carlos Hicks has already got him buying in to just about everything. And just the pulling of the trigger is not quick enough from Watts. Just looks a beat behind, looking for that overhand right, but uh, Carlos Hicks already ghosting his way out of range. If I was David Watts, I'd be dropping my punches down to the chest, which will counter the head movement and evasion of Hicks. I think it's the best chance of actually being effective and getting some shots on target. No doubt about it, especially with Carlos Hicks in this mood at the moment. Just going to be careful he doesn't get too overconfident. His eyes are working well, but there's going to be too complacent yeah the claret's already starting to flow from the damaged nose of david watts it was cut from the first bout with joey parsons hicks's handiwork is one of the things that has improved his game he's always been a very good kicker but his ability to set up with his hands has been critical in his development as a fighter switched to south ball went to the body good shot selection monty as they say yeah, they complement each other well the hands and the legs Nice variations between the two as well. Just changing it up, you never know what he's going to throw. It's unpredictability, so he can't get a read. The only thing I would say with Hicks at the moment is he just carries his right hand a little low as he goes to the punt pick up high. Switched over to South Ford looking for the body rip to the spleen. That's the spleen side of the body. Left hand side of the body. This is spleen, right hand side's where the liver sits, and that was a liver shot. Thank you, Carlos Hicks, for our biology display here. King in the Ring 75s. First semi final, Carlos Hicks on the right of your screen. David White's the tough South Islander. Sorry, David Watts on the right, Carlos Hicks. If he would just stay still for a moment. Beautiful work. Head movement, pulling. Punch variation. We uh, let go of the tie sweep. Hicks has got to be cautious. He doesn't walk into that knee. You notice he's bobbing low, Monty. Carlos Hicks, this is an outstanding performance in the first round. He's seeing it all very well indeed. Watts, once again, probably giving him too much time. 
trying to upset his rhythm a little bit. There's that jumping knee. This time it was the right one. Watts, though, lucky it came at the end of the round. Beautiful setup. Left, faked with the left, brought the right right up the middle, caught him on the button, and a dominant performance. That was so dominant, I'd be tempted to give it a 10 8. Judges won't score it that way, but uh, that was a beautiful performance from him. Look at that, he, he evades the right, he comes back with the 1 2 combination, followed with the a high right kick goes to the body works well then he comes over the top just for good measure to finish it off and put the exclamation mark on him he is on song right now his eyes are red as he reaches round around two. for the liver there's that high knee you're talking about and and not just the high knee though he didn't sit on that he, he finished with body shots to, to, to body and head so uh, that's impressive and that's a uh, nose of david watts is uh Redder than a cherry on top of a top of the Christmas tree. Spinning back kick up to the face. I was having too much fun, Mike. Well, it's just everything's going his way. Uh, Israel Adesanya calls it God mode. Just when you reach that point in the fight where you're just controlling everything that's going on. Notice how he went under the right hand there. What's trying to time the right hand, but uh, Hicks just too good. Different level tonight. Another front kick up high bludgeoning that face, cutting it up. <laughs> Referee's got to have a look at that at some point because uh, it certainly ain't pretty. The nose is broken. David Watts is very tough. Right hand there. The only thing I would say about Hicks is he, he's not a power puncher, but very precise with what he's doing. And throw from so many different angles. He doesn't need a set. His agility and his balance to do so, which makes him very good. Well, let's have a look there. That is a nasty cut. It's across the bridge of the nose, though. It's not flowing into the eyes. It just looks a bit ugly. They say you've got to watch out for the fighter that's had a few fights now, and Carlos has, and he still looks pretty. He's meaning he's not taking a lot of damage. David Watts, on the other hand, He's had a few fights, and this one in particular is taking a lot of damage. Slick work from Hicks, and he's smiling, he's loving his work. David Watts, though, smiling as well. Oh, Hicks is putting on a clinic, absolutely, with evasion and coming back with counters, even catching some on the gloves to return with interest. As he switches stance a few times, he is just enjoying it. One man bloodied up, the other barely breaking a sweat well he's prettier than Ali right now and really putting on a beautiful performance everything his way David Watt so you've got to give him credit he is still in this fight he's trying to find an opening he's just a couple of beats too slow Carlos Hicks on another level right now doubling up body and head then going back downstairs Dutch style with the low kick just not putting a lot of power into his shots just yet and that's not necessarily a bad thing, remembering he's still got another fight. So if he can't get him out of there early, don't expend too much energy emptying the gas tank. And right now he's on cruise control. I think he's just loving his time under the lights. Back here in New Zealand, 2014 is the last time we've seen him. He's been exceptional. It's a new and improved version of Hanks. Well, right now he's, he's bloodied up. He's uh, got a slightly redder version of Carlos Hicks because he's covered in the blood of David Watts. Only 10 seconds to go and this is the second round. There's more cuts going on, more blood than a Friday the 13th movie. Oh, beautiful work to finish the round from Carlos Hicks. Well, that's another easy round locked away in the bank. Watts credit and he still comes forward he's still trying to think about what it's going to take to be effective against Hicks you see Hicks just his versatility back spinning kick beautiful front kick there you can't see that he's worried about the hands he's using that as a bit of a smoke screen then he puts the kick straight up through the guard 
Look at that one, 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 two. Beautiful movement as he evades, comes back with a stiff right hand, goes finish on the body, then comes over the top just for good measure. That was real time pad work just about. It was beautiful. It was a, it was just such a such a crisp shot, and the head just rattled back there, encased in a mask of blood. It's a cut on the bridge of the nose, so it looks bad, but uh, it's not impacting his ability to fight. Not getting in the eyes. Hicks's defense has been much better in this round, in this fight rather than his first. He's tightened up because he knows he's against a better class of fighter. Nice counter there. Counter left hook, look to fly the right kick up high. David Watts needing to find something very special because right now he's just getting taken apart. Technically broken down. This kind of fighting style reminiscent of Israel Adesanya, the way he is just imperiously bossing this fight. Absolutely, you caught a god mode, but for others in the movie sort of theme, Matrix comes to mind. The ability of what you can see and how quickly you can just counter with ease. It's beautiful to watch. Well, Carlos Hicks just looks like everyone else is in slow motion so far tonight. David Watts, he, he's not a particularly quick fighter, but uh, he's been made to look just absolutely slow motion. Remembering this is a guy who's fought up to quarterfinal levels at the WKO World Champs. Had a lot of fights against some very solid boys, but uh, he just can't find a home for anything. Carlos Hicks going with the punt kick again. Splitting the guard. Pulling back outside of that left hook. There's a good indication you can see it, Monty, just the way he's pulling out of those counter left hooks. Just his variation, variation with counters, variation with leads. Uh, trying to get a reach, you just can't. The only thing I would say is we haven't seen David Watts wobbled yet. He's taken a lot of shots. So there's a big right hand, but still Watts, either he's got a granite chin or Carlos Hicks is not the heaviest of punches. But uh, the bravery of David Watts showing no quit. Carlos Hicks just taking him to task. Nothing, no sting on David Watts right now either. No sting, but plenty of heart, David Watts. Yeah, and Carlos Hicks starting to showboat a little now. It's a uh, mobile heavy bag work for him. Hopefully the crowd can appreciate the clinic that's been put on here. Looking for the butterfly kick. With a spinning roundhouse. End of round three. Wow. That is the most dominant victory you will ever see, short of having a knockout. Carlos Hicks barely touched. And uh, David Watts, very, very brave. He fought on despite a massive gash on the bridge of his nose. Credit to him for his toughness, but uh, Carlos Hicks through to the final of King of the Ring 75 at a canter. Oh, a pleasure to watch. You brought him on to the left hook then. Just lean back, maneuvered. The body created a room. Left counter was nice as you see some work to the body. Look at that. He finishes off with another couple of kicks. That was probably a little bit too ambitious as he came off the ropes. I'll tell you what, we have seen a full kit of punches and tricks from this man here, Carlos Hicks. Very pretty indeed. Fighters to the center ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. For your winner, going on to the finals here tonight, a little bit later on, fighting out of the red corner, Carlos the Flying Fiji!